Business model innovation is a hot topic. Indeed, from a strategical point of view, a company may have a very good technological innovation, what we call technological discontinuity in the paper, but may not capture the value it really creates. The intuition of our research was that although the drugs industry has been facing several waves of technological discontinuities, we don't see a real change in the dominant logic. Companies have been uh, bringing technological innovation and new business models, but the dominant logic is still the same. To investigate this phenomenon, we interviewed 22 experts of the drugs industry worldwide and studied in depth the business models of seven bioinformatics companies. Let me now explain the main results of our research. We can define the dominant logic as a common mindset shared by the managers of the industry. They all more or less have the same understanding of how to do business. So the characterization of the dominant logic is the value propositions they deliver to customers, the way networks are orchestrated, and the structure of the value chain. In the drugs industry, the value propositions are clearly about products, I mean drugs delivered to patients. The networks are orchestrated by large companies, and the value chain is fragmented but stable. So to disrupt this dominant logic, we first need technological discontinuities. That's exactly what the theory says. Then we saw business model innovation. We have companies developing business models fitting with the dominant logic on the short term, but disrupting this dominant logic on the long term. Then we observed new type of network orchestrations, where small companies try to gain a more central role in networks. Fourth, we saw new value propositions around services and solutions rather than products. And last, but very important, we saw large companies entering this industry doing alliances with small companies, and these players come from other industries. Industries like semiconductor, food industry, IT industry. Let's take another industry, like the music industry. So the dominant logic was CDs sold to customers, networks orchestrated by large companies called majors, and a stable and fragmented value chain. Then we had technological discontinuities with the emergence of internet, new business models, companies selling legally or illegally music on the internet. Then we had new type of networks, musicians could take a more central role in networks. Value propositions, switching to services, you could buy, for example, an access to a database. And last but very important, we had the entry of a large company coming from another industry who started to sell music. And in a large majority of pads and smartphones, we all buy music from the same company. And as far as I know, this company wasn't famous for producing music. So it means that for a company developing technological discontinuities, it's not enough to have a great technology. The rules of the game only change when you have new business models, new type of networks, new value propositions, and new players. This, this change clearly happened in the music industry and is underway in the drugs industry. To go further, you can read our article published in Technological Forecasting and Social Change.